Hello traders, this is Igor from FX your YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to add indices to MT4 and how to trade indices in this CFD platform. So first I want to tell you that the most important thing is to enable all symbols and all indices that you can trade in your Forex broker account. To do that, you need to go to View tab, then to choose the symbols, or just press CTRL with U, and then you will get this window. Now here, you can pick, for example, here we have a spot index majors, or we have a spot index minors, or we have a various ways that you can trade indices. For example, You can trade, for example, particular stocks like US stocks or UK stocks, and every single broker will mark this in different way. Some brokers like, for example, to put UK shares, UK uh, US stocks and so on. Some brokers will do that in a different way. Some brokers will give you for example, um, different indexes and different ways. Some will offer like this e-mini futures and you will have a lot of a lot of ways and a lot of groups that you can use here in any kind of MetaTrader platform. But the most important thing is to know that usually the traders and Forex brokers account can trade for example, Dow Jones Industrial Average that measures the value of the 30 largest blue chip stocks in the US market. Then from Germany, DAX index, for example, tracks the performance of 30 largest companies listed in the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Then we can find, for example, like this, NASDAQ 100 that reports the market value of the 100 largest non-financial companies in the US. Then FTCA 100 that measures performance in the 100 blue chip companies listed in the London Stock Exchange. Here we can find with a different name, for example, like this, UK 100. It is the FTCA 100, for example. And of course, the most important and the most traded, it's an S&P 500 that tracks the value of 500 large cap companies in the US. So what is the most important thing that you need to monitor when you trade uh, indices and you want to monitor the index prices? You need to watch, for example, economic news, investor sentiment, central bank announcement, various payroll reports or economic events that can affect underlying volatility, which can cause the index price to move. Then you need to watch uh, company financial results like uh, individual company profits and lo losses that will cause a share price to increase or decrease and which can affect an index price. Then uh, you can watch uh, various company announcements because uh, some important companies can impact on the indices too because the change to company leadership or possible mergers will likely affect the share prices which can have either a positive or negative effect on the index price then you can uh, just monitor changes in the index composition it's a very important thing why because Weighted indices can see their prices shift when companies are added or removed as the traders adjust their positions to account for the new composition. Then you can watch commodity prices. Yes, yes, there is a connection between stocks, index, indexes, indices and commodity prices because the various commodities will affect different indices prices. For example, let me imagine 20% um, of the share listed on the FTC 100 are commodity stocks which means any fluctuations in the commodity market could affect the index price. And it's a, it's a natural thing. Of course, it's very, very, very important to monitor this in this time. For example, this video is in 2021, when you have a huge inflation and a very volatile commodity market. And that 
vol huge volatility in commodity market can impact indices and this is the very important so like i see on this list that to just give you what traders trade usually when you talk about trading uh, indices and the mt4 usually they'd like to trade uk 100 so the uk 100 is the most popular indice market that has been operated since 1984 and um, it's managed by ftc group uh, and the london stock exchange and uh, like i said earlier uk 100 index includes stocks from some of the countries the best loved companies for example maybe you heard that berkeley burberry for example um, then just eat uh, royal mail tesco vodafone group and so on so for example big economic data relays or sudden change in the value of the pound could uh, immediately affect the price of companies in sector like banking while the same news may not impact companies like exporting and in that way you need to understand that any kind of wild fluctuations sharp volatility are less likely when trading in this is like the uk 100 than when you're trading individual shares so nice idea if you want to avoid volatility sometimes it's very smart to trade whole market like indices instead a particular stock then let me talk about wall street and uh, when you talk about wall street in some brokers will give name wall street some brokers will call that dow jones industrial average index some will will give some other shortcut somebody some broker will show you for example us 30. they, they mean about dow jones industrial average index so there is a lot of names in the MetaTrader 4 platform for that, but you need to know that's a Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, and um, it's run by Standard Poor and Dow Jones, and it's a incredibly popular with investors. And you know, you know some stocks that in this indices, for example, you know it's um, Apple, Boeing, Caterpillar, uh, Coca-Cola, Intel, McDonald's, Microsoft, Nike, Visa, Walt Disney, and a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stocks. So, like I said earlier, like for the UK 100, the sheer diversity of sectors representing the Wall Street index means that the index is less sensitive to extreme volatility that might otherwise affect the price movements of the single share. Then, what is the very popular indices to trade at um, MetaTrader platform? NASDAQ. NASDAQ index is the third major US stock index. And it was originally launched in 1971. Uh, it has 100 major companies. Sometimes you will see US 100, sometimes NASDAQ, sometimes a lot of names when you see it MetaTrader platform. But you need to know that this famous index include big names like Apple, Tesla, Cisco, Intel, Adobe, Netflix, much more. So, but you need to know one thing, it's important for trading. When you think about NASDAQ, always think one, one thing. This index is correlated with tech sector. So, so all companies, from um, informational industry like Cisco, Apple, Intel, Adobe, everything is in that tech industry, maybe aviation, consumer services, and healthcare. But but the tech industry is the most important industry in NASDAQ index. And for the end, just to tell what people like to trade. I like to trade that. It's a Germany 30. Why I like to trade Germany 30? Because I live in Europe and then during the European session I like to have some indices in that moment and I trade sometimes I like S&P 500 and I like um, Nasdaq and everything but I like Germany 30 because uh, there is a lot of big companies a lot of people in US do not know about them but there is um, Adidas, Daimler, Deutsche Bank, um, Lufthansa, Siemens, Volkswagen Group and so on and so on so for the end, uh, as with the other 
major global indices, it's easy to see the diversity in the different stocks which make up the Germany 30, which is good news for investors looking for medium and longer term trading opportunities with less risk or extreme volatility. So just remember this. I think if we compare this uh, Germany 30 and, for example, S&P 500 and some other, volatility is not so strong in Europe and US markets. So just just know that of course this is not a rule usually it's like that but it's not a rule you know trading is a crazy business and price can be volatile everywhere sometimes in some moments but this is just a usual thing so this is it i in this video as you see i talk very very short about how to add symbols and and uh, manage them here what is the important thing is uh, that uh, in this video i wanted just to show you um interesting idea to trade not just the forex not just the individual shares try indexes why not i know it's very good if you trade for long term but sometimes you can you can trade in medium term for example to keep some indexes one month two months three months and it can be very very interesting because uh, it's not so strong volatility you can be nimble you can move stop loss very fast and um, when I see all my all my uh, stats in trading I see that maybe I don't have a huge profit when I trade indexes uh, indices and I don't have um, some strong profit like when I trade Forex or individual stocks but one thing is very interesting my drawdown is not big my drawdown is very tight and very often i can i ha have sometimes more than 70 percent uh, winning ratio because uh, a lot of trades i trade without profit and some with profit and there's a very small number of trades with loss and um, it's a good thing because you have a feeling that you're productive that you're a good trader that you have you don't have some massive losing strikes and so on and i take i think if you are if you don't have a time and you're so nimble to change stop loss all the time it can be very very interesting to trade in indices and this is just my suggestion so this is it i wish a great day and bye bye